नमस्ते आई एम जेवियन नरेंद्र कुमार शाह असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग अंडर फैकल्टी ऑफ एजुकेशन एंड मेथोलॉजी इन ज्योति विद्यापीठ विमेंस यूनिवर्सिटी जयपुर सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट इंस्टॉलेशन प्रोसेस ऑफ एन ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम जस्ट लाइक हियर वी टुक ए विंडोज ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम एज ए बेस मशीन and we are taking a virtual machine manager that's uh, vm uh, of oracle and we are taking ubuntu image of 16.04 lts version uh, so let's start i'm sharing the screen so here i'm taking the virtual box of oracle so this is the official website virtualbox.org so here are some uh, downloads of virtual box 6.1.28 uh, version so we can take uh, virtual box for different distributions just like windows host uh, os x host linux distribution and solaris so we have to choose the windows host that uh, i already downloaded so i have to install this uh, virtual box in my windows operating system first so we simply have to install the virtual box so the virtual box is some kind of a isolated uh, operating system manager just like we have some uh, kind of space in our operating system or our disk so it will not affect outside of the box just like we have some uh, kind of box in a room so if we are doing something in that box so it will not affect the uh, room also so here i think our virtual box is installed and ha uh, yes here it is so this is the uh, basic view of our virtual box so here are some options like preferences import export new and add so we have to simply create a new machine in it so click on new we have to name the machine so i am naming as an ubuntu so we can see uh, here the type is linux here and it is by default is taking ubuntu 64 bit for this uh, installation so we can change uh, at any time or we can change the file system according to our images so if we, i want to install the windows so i can take microsoft windows and its uh, architecture like just like 32 bit or 64 bit there are different uh, distributions like ibm bsd that's backless software distribution solaris and solaris and linux so simply we have to move on the next step so i have to take uh, minimum 2 gb of ram here uh, for uh, my ubuntu 16.04 lts version uh, it's the minimum requirement for ubuntu 16.04 so i'm taking this then i'm creating next to so virtual disk image then next we have to um, allocate the hard disk dynamically not the fixed size uh, just like if i want to extend my hard disk so i can take more storage from my disk and i can add to it so it is dynamically allocated the next taking the default uh, folder for this uh, next so i have created an architecture for this uh, operating system just like we choose our cpu uh, monitor keyboard mouse just like we define this like uh, i want this hardware for my pc so i'm taking uh, any processor for that i'm taking any motherboard for that specific motherboard just like for this chipset i want my 
uh, motherboard. So just like we just created a architecture, just like we have taken the Ubuntu 64-bit architecture, 2 GB uh, of RAM. Uh, this is the boot order. So we don't need any boot order for that uh, right now. Uh, now come to the storage part. So here we have a disk created of 10 GB. That's ubuntu.vdi. So it is saved somewhere, but is it, it's a blank disk. So we have to install uh, some operating system in it. So what is the source of uh, installation? So we need a disk image for that. So I have uh, I've downloaded Ubuntu 16.04 version here. So it's a, uh, it's a 32 bit architecture. Uh, I'm taking it here. So I have to choose from here, choose disk file, choose or create a disk file. So I'm just taking here. So I'm adding it this one and I choose here. So this will reflect here uh, in storage. So I have to install the operating system from this image right now. For audio, for audio, for uh, we are taken the by default or uh, systems audio for network. It's all LAN card on the hard uh, or uh, base machine. And USB ports, if we want to activate any kind of uh, USB port, so we can take it from. So we can see these settings, uh, these in the settings. So when we open the settings, so general, this is given the description. This is the boot order. We want to uh, keep on just like uh, in the previous versions, we used floppy for uh, booting an operating system, or we take uh, some optical uh, disk, just like CD or DVD, or we want to boot from our hard drive. So basically we generally we uh, boot from our hard drive this is so in case of live cd we can use cd or dvd or we use uh, or pen drive for that so this uh, come to the display so it's a default uh, configurations for that so we can add this image from here too and then audio uh, network uh, huh, th this is the important thing here so we have to select a network configuration for that so this is net network address translator. translator. So uh, we are taking it here because we are just directly want to connect it with our PC and we want to create a network, uh, you know, newly installed operating system that is isolated from them, but it is accessible from the outside. So the IP assigned to it, it will be different uh, class of uh, or dash machine. Based adapter, so we simply can take a uh, it, it can create a bridge for that. So same class of IP address will be assigned to the, the operating system uh, in this virtual machine. So uh, these are some types for just you know, like you want to keep isolated or not. After that, uh, it's come to port. So we don't need any port. So now, and we will start the installation. We have selected the disk. So when we start, a window will pop up for the installation for this machine particularly. So when we start the installation, so there are two options uh, we generally get to uh, run as a live CD or to install, it, uh, to install the operating system directly. So when we use the live uh, CD here, so generally we get uh, some kind of operating system that is uh, a live operating system. We do something and everything is vanished when it is shut down. So you will see that here.
So here we see a screen of Ubuntu operating system. It's loading. Okay, so it is just uh, I told about your uh, the live CD that's try Ubuntu or install Ubuntu. So we are directly going to install the Ubuntu here. So you have to choose the language that is or by default English. Now you come to the next step. So if you want to download any updates uh, uh, of Ubuntu, just like I have 16.04 here and I want to upgrade my existing operating system to the latest one. So it will, uh, if I choose this option, uh, download updates while installing Ubuntu. So it will install all the updates of Ubuntu operating system and it will directly be a 20.04 LTS version. So I'm not gonna select it. And the second is install third party software for graphics or these such things. So you don't need any kind of third party software. So you can install them separately after installation. You just simply continue. Now, installation type. So we have a disk of 10 GB. So we can choose any option for that. So here, the erase disk can install Ubuntu. So we have that disk, not over base machines disk. So we have a 10 GB disk for that. So we can erase and we can install uh, the operating system in it. The second option is for encryption and third word LVM. So LVM is logical volume management. So this is basically uh, taken for the servers and something else we don't need any kind of system. So just install now. Uh, here, a partition table is created. So we can see a SCSI three type of uh, partition is created here and this uh, has two partitions the first one is ext4 and second one is swap so swap is some kind of logical partition that uh, is some kind of similar uh, of our ram just like i have created a 2 gb ram so it, it, i think it will uh, take 1 gb ram by default 1 gb swap memory uh, default and it will be added to ram just like I am using my RAM up to 80% or up to 60%, after that it will take the memory from the swap memory. And ext4 is extended version 4, uh, which is a file system used for uh, Linux operating systems, just like we use the NTFS for Windows, a new technology file system. So let's continue. In the next step, we will get the location of our continent. So yeah, I'm in India and Kolkata. I will con just continue. Just continue the layout of keyboard and something like these things are not as necessary for this. Uh, now, I will choose uh, a username and a computer's name. So you uh, just, I'm taking Ubuntu. By default, it's uh, computer's name is Ubuntu, virtual box, and the username is Ubuntu. I'm also taking Ubuntu as a password. It's showing it's a weak password, but it, it, can, it will accept it. So we can, uh, choose a single word or single symbol for a password in Linux operating system. So it's not necessary to choose any kind of such complex uh, password for this. So here the installation process is started. So we can see these files are copying here. In the installation process. So installation is completed here. So we have to restart our system right now. So th this is 
uh, our newly installed operating system in virtual box. So we are not going to restart our base machine. So it is saying, please remove the installation medium and then press enter. So we don't have any installation medium. We just took the ISO in this, press enter. So here our Ubuntu operating system is installed and this is the login screen. So my username is Ubuntu. I'm just giving the password and enter. This is the Ubuntu version 16.04. So we have just completed the installation process of an operating system in virtual box. So we took a Operating an operating system which is Ubuntu 16.04 desktop version. So uh, we can take a server version that will be only command line. So in setting time. Yes, here it is. So this is the desktop of our Ubuntu operating system. You can check in the settings, system settings. So, so we will see some basic commands and how these commands are executed in uh, this Ubuntu. This is the terminal we have here. So we'll see uh, this thing in our next session. Uh, thank you.